Now I'm going to explain the integral part of the controller, this term here. You can select the block with Ctrl H and see the inputs and outputs of this block. Uh, as inputs, we have the sensor value and the set point again as a proportional controller. And I'm going to explain these these variables in a minute. And as outputs, we have the what I name the integral control that is just all this term and the integral control sum this sum is just the addition of all the past errors your lego segway has done uh, then we can double click the, the block we are in the front panel put ctrl e and we have the program for the integral part and this in a nutshell these blocks represent this formula here I'm going to explain how do we obtain this formula from the basics. Uh, first, the, the integral correction is just a summatory of the past errors. That's why the, the integral part of the controller is often called as the memory part. Right? So it's just a summatory between the current error and the past errors, the past integral correction. Uh, as an by definition an integral or a or a discrete integral which is which is a summatory is multiplied by the differential in time uh, well i just will show an example here um, here you have the a simple integral formula you see here the differential in time it's multiplying as we are dealing with discrete time this integral term becomes a summatory um, and that's why you multiply this and then you multiply all these by your integral gain uh, which is determined here the, this is the, the tuning variable you are going to adjust according to your Lego Segway behavior this variable is going to determine how important the integral part of your control law is going to be and as a final variable, I use what I call a damping factor. If you watch carefully, the damping factor only multiplies the um, the past errors, the past integral correction. Why? Why is that? Uh, because in this way, we are giving more importance to to the current errors, to the errors the Lego Segway is making now and making less important all the past errors in a, in a way you are you are forgetting what you what you did in the past uh, you make sure of this by making the damping factor uh, equal to a value between 0 and 1 uh, and why do we do this uh, because well as i told you the integral error in a way remembers uh, the errors you have done so for example if your Lego Segway uh, has leaned to its back several times in the past uh, the integral part of the controller is going to try to 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 move forward harder and harder uh, if you are if you are leaning more times to it to the back but sometimes the integral error tries so hard that instead of restoring the Lego Segway to, to its balanced position the Lego Segway is going to, to pass this reference position and overshoots and we, we don't want that, we just want to, to the Lego Segway to be in this, in this balanced position so in a way the damping factor is going to prevent your Lego from doing this uh, you can read more more about this damping factor and other tricks to to prevent overshoots in the links I put in this video. I invite you to read them.